Hey y'all, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm down here at my favorite spot on the Ohio River. And I uh, thought I'd show you a different perspective on how high the water's gotten. Um, we've had so much rain and so much flooding here in Wheeling, late, Wheeling lately that uh, it's just amazing. But this river is like really high and the barges here are just, I can step right onto them. In fact, I'm going to because you know me, I like to play around on these things. But there's a lot here. It's kind of neat. Salvage barges, I guess. And uh, I'll try to get a close up look for some of you guys. But I wanted to do a river chat, so I came down here. I didn't realize all this was down here. So let me give you a tour of some barges here first. I think if I walk down here, I should be able to step right onto the barge. So we'll find out. Oh yeah. Yep. I don't know if you can see, but that's how close it is. That's a neat piece of equipment. They just loaded this onto a barge with his tires and everything. Evidently it did his job on land. Now it gets to go work on the river. But let me walk out here and see if I can do this without getting into too much trouble. All right, we're on the barge. I don't know if I can get on other barges or not, but this is pretty cool. As I walk around, Nice little pump there. Heck yeah. And this is obviously a working barge. But I can't get onto those over there. I mean, I can if I walk, get off of this one. You can get off over there and walk down and climb up, but I'm not going to. I'll just show you this one. Pretty neat. But I love to be able to just walk out here and walk onto these barges. And explore. A couple of nice looking welders there. Must be a generator in there. But yep, we're out on the river. I see a tugboat coming. Another pump. Well, they sure chain this stuff up. <laughs> I, mean, I don't blame them when you can just walk out like I did. Man, everything on here is heavy. 
Everything spells heavy. I love these ropes. That's some cordage for you. <laughs> Carry some of that cordage in your backpack. So let me get off of here and get on to my chat. I'm telling you, it has rained so much the last few weeks and flooded. Uh, there's just not much else we can do. So... It's not that I don't want to do anything else. It's just, once again, Mother Nature is not cooperating and uh, giving us that opportunity. But I wanted to do a funny chat anyway. Um, if y'all don't mind, this has nothing to do with homesteading, cabin building, bushcrafting, blah, 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 anything. But once in a while, I just like to talk. You know that. Especially when I got nothing else to do. So, I thought something that would be funny is, uh, you, all you people that want or think you want a YouTube channel, I'm going to give you the number one most important tip that I can think of being a channel owner. Uh, only for a couple years, but I've learned. Uh, one of the things you have to do is have thick skin. Because I'm telling you, you are going to get some of the stupidest comments from people. And if you try to do videos showing how you do things, just get ready because you're going to have people telling you how you have no idea what you're doing. You're doing it wrong. Uh, it's not up to this. It's not up to that. It's uh, this is wrong. You can't do it that way You know so You get ready for stuff like that, and then you get people that are just plain Every day what you got to call assholes, and they're they're only there to To leave dirty comments, you know uh, And you got to be prepared for that You know, I just I think if you wanted to set up a channel that deals with homesteading or, or bushcrafting or prepping or uh, survivalism, you know, any of those kind of things that, you know, I like to play around with and get into, I'm telling you, there's, there's thousands of channels out there now. Everybody trying to do it. There's very little money to be made on YouTube. Unless you're one of the mega channels, you're not going to make a lot of money. I, I make probably 150 bucks a month which you know it's <laughs> good money to me uh, but it's certainly not going to provide a livelihood which some people like um, I, I have more fun with my channel than I do uh, uh, using it as a revenue stream let me put it that way I have a lot of fun doing this stuff and also I have thick skin and I'm used to now by now everybody telling me everything I'm doing is wrong uh, and that's okay I mean some people have told me I'm doing it wrong and come to find out they were 100% right and what I was doing was gonna be bad so I, I was able to change it so it's good for that I mean that's why I don't like turn off comments or turn off dislikes or likes or whatever it is I don't know uh, because some of the stuff that you get from your subscribers is just invaluable. Uh, and you really learn to appreciate it. But just know that you're going to catch a lot of crap. And a lot of people are going to dislike you. Uh, just because. I mean, I got plenty of them that dislike me. And uh, I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with the dislikes anymore because with the new algorithms that YouTube's using for ranking you know it used to be you know y'all you couldn't have any dislikes and it went by percentages of dislikes versus likes versus this versus that where your crap wound up in search results and blah 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 well I think the way it was explained to me the way I understand it now is it's just strictly activity a like or a dislike 
has the exact same effect on your channel. Um, they they benefit you both. Uh, so get all the dislikes you can because they're good. Uh, the dislikes and the likes and the comments, you know, try to answer all the comments because that helps. Because that's considered activity on your, your channel. On your video, you want activity. So you try to make sure people comment, you know, you leave it open for people to comment. Uh, but just know that you're going to have comments that you're going to have to delete because, you know, my channel is very family friendly and it's going to stay that way. Uh, I don't allow all that kind of crap on mine. And you're going to you're gonna have to understand it's going to be slow to get started. I mean, you're, it's going to be a long time before... I think now you have to have like 10,000 views before you can even monetize uh, your channel or something like that. Uh, so it's going to be a while before you get to where you're making money. And there's a lot of channels out there that are... How can I say this? Um, they're just they're 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 only in it for the money, and they do and say whatever they can to try to generate views. That that's their primary goal. It's no longer to have fun with it. It's no longer to try to help people out. It's trying to to sell products trying to get, you know, links, you know, go to my Amazon's, you know, go to, if you want to buy something, go through this link. Uh, if you buy this stuff, use this link because I get credit for it and you can support my family that way and you can support my channel that way. And so the quality of what they produce and what they present, is, in my opinion, is really crap. I mean... I am not a videographer. I'm not a producer. I'm not a director. I'm none of that guy. I just shoot some video and I'm having fun with editing stuff and trying to get better with that. But I'm not a writer. I don't know what, you know, I don't know how to write things out and scripts and everything's off the cuff. Uh, I try to show you some of the things that I do. Uh, try to do kind of a vlog and uh, it, a lot of my friends that keep in family, they watch and get up to date, you know, to what we're doing. And again, what I'm telling you, you want to do a channel, it's great. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's hard to do sometimes because it takes you so much longer to build something or do a project because you're trying to film it at the same time. Uh... And you, you show all your mistakes. I mean, I've shown all my mistakes. I don't care. Uh, it, it's just, it's a lot of fun to do. It's another hobby, and this is a hobby you can actually make a few bucks at uh, to help you in your hobby and buy more stuff. Um, but like I said, have a thick skin because you're going up against some, some channels that are somewhat unscrupulous. And people that are unscrupulous and people that will try to discredit you or discredit your channel uh, hoping it makes them look better I don't know why they do it but they do uh, I just I'm just me I'm straightforward I you know say things the way I see it and you know if I find it interesting I'm gonna do a video about it because I know you know, a couple other people are going to find it interesting and might look at it. Uh, there's going to be a, plenty of people that don't find it interesting. And that's okay. I, you know, I try to put clear titles out there of what the video is about. Uh, I don't use any clickbait or anything. Um, it's like this video. It has nothing to do with homesteading. It has nothing to do with building my cabin. It has nothing to do with Gail's broken. It has nothing to do with anything other than, you know... I got a chance to walk on a different barge and saw, you know, some activity on the Ohio River and got to talk for a while. That's all it, all it is. So, uh, anyway, if you want to make a channel, make one. It's easy to do. It's fun to do. 
It's fun to interact with people, and you will get people if you are yourself and you're honest, and you you're you know a real person. There's a lot of really good people out there that watch these channels and subscribe to you and give you advice and help you out. Uh, that's just that's not measurable by any standard, and uh, that's become the primary reason why I do it. And I'm willing to show all the things that I do. In case I am doing things wrong, you know, I can get some advice on how to fix it. But, uh, yeah, do it. Just be ready. Because if you get your feelings hurt easily, you're not going to like it. <laughs> you're not going to last too long in this game. But this is Joe sitting here on the banks of the river. I'm going to go pick up Gail and go get something to eat. This is Saturday, the 29th of July. Everywhere is flooded, it seems like, and we're going to try to get out to St. Bernard Acres tomorrow, and uh, I'm charging up the batteries to the drone. I've been practicing with it, so I'm going to try it with the camera and try to photograph a little bit, video a little out at St. Bernard Acres, if I don't hang it up in a tree somewhere, uh, or crash it on top of the barn, who knows, but uh, yeah, I'm going to try that out tomorrow. If we can get out there, I don't know how bad that county's flooded out. Uh, but I hope y'all have a, a good weekend. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Because it all counts now. Do something. Interact. That's all I want you to do is interact with me. Tell me I'm an idiot and give me a thumbs down. And I'll be happy. I'll be laughing all the way to the bank while you do that stuff. So, uh, again, this is Joe. That is all.